So is the $100 Lego Lunar Lander set worth it? Yes. Yes, it's worth it. it it's totally worth it. I'm gonna kill my watch time here, but I think you're gonna enjoy it, and this is why. I do have some warnings about the Lego set and some learnings I think you will find very helpful, as well as why this Lego set came to be. So this 1,087 piece Lego set took me over four hours to build in one sitting. Four hours. Now I'll admit it's been about 15 years since my last build, and this is a much smaller build than the Saturn V, which I've heard stories anywhere from six to eight hours to complete. But the muscle memory came back and it was a joy. If you want to do this in one sitting like I did, I recommend you have a seat. It really took away from the overall experience for me. Oh, this is killing my back. All right. This Lego set is a far superior build to the 2003 release that had less than half the pieces and was just very dull looking, to be honest. So if you have the original, I recommend you get your hands on this one. Lego has been building NASA ships for decades, and the chief designer of this Lego set, Lars Joe, said that the Saturn V released in 2017 was the inspiration behind this Lego set. There was a mini lunar lander in that set, but they realized that it was just too small, and it would be a great opportunity to celebrate the 50th anniversary with a full-sized lunar lander. There was rumors that LEGO would be mailing commemorative patches with this set, but I did not get one. Maybe they opted not to mail them. I don't know. The lander, as expected, comes off in two sta- Oh, God, again? It does break apart into the ascent and descent stages separately. What's pretty interesting is that LEGO designed it so that you can have the rear removed, so you can see from the perspective of the crew, um, as well as like some little control panel here and then you can also have the front removed look they've got little they've got little joysticks and gauges and things to look at it's designed so that both astronauts can fit inside uh, i haven't done this yet because i have very big hands and these are tiny pieces some fascinating bits about this in the descent stage there is the opportunity to read the little commemorative plaque that is written in lego which actually I put up upside down. Wow, that's good job, TJ. As well as the camera, which showed the very important moment of don't do what I do and just be really rough with it. It's a Lego. For $100 well spent, I got a four hour activity I really enjoyed doing, as well as something that's gonna really look nice in my shop somewhere. Keep losing, keep losing the antenna. I don't do these kinds of reviews that often, but when I get something neat, I share it in case uh, somebody out there might learn something new. Anyways, hope you have a great day. I'll catch you later. I'm gonna go fix these now. Oh, there's the... Oh my god, what in the world? I shouldn't have nice things. These are too delicate for me. On the back half here, there is the laser reflector. Gah! I'm not even gonna show you. Just B-roll. Cutting the B-roll right now.